Hey everyone, Luis here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, another resin. This is part of my series of resin reviews that I, I promised you. And this time I'm going to talk about the uh, high transparency resin, okay? Uh, in this case specifically, it's a resin from Nova 3D, okay? Manufacturer or brand. Uh, a lot of people ask about that on the Facebook groups that I participate about how I get uh, resin that do not get yellow, a transparent resin that do not get yellow, right? This is a, a common uh, subject. A lot of people would like to have like a, 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 a translucent resin that do not get yellow and I think this one is the case, okay? And I will explain to you during the video my impressions of this resin, the tests I've, I've done, and uh, some drawbacks also that this resin has, okay? So hope it's useful for you, stay with me, and I'm going to uh, be more detailed on my explanation about this resin, okay? Okay, first thing is that I need to say is that Nova contacted me and sent me this resin, okay? They sent me uh, 500 milliliters of this resin, and one thing that happened is that the resin arrived with the bottle cap a little bit out. Uh, I think in the transportation it suffered some damage. And we know how <laughs> those uh, transports are. If you can see here, it's still a little bit bended to the side. And more than a half of the resin just was outside of the of the of the bottle as you can see here it's all i clean it a lot with ipa but it's still uh, it's there are some some resin in here i could save some which i use here to print some models to show to you guys but uh, good, the good thing is that it came well packaged and because of that uh, I could at least have some uh, resin to, to test and show to you guys, okay? But yeah, um, besides that, uh, I would like to make a small criticism to, to Nova and it's about their website. I think they need to have better information about their products on their website, okay? It's difficult to find information about this high transparency thing or any other resin or any other product from, from them. Um, there is here a QR code that you can read and send you to a small table uh, showing uh, some settings, uh, recommended settings for day printer. Um, it's for, for the Bene 4 series, Elfin 2 and, and Bene 4 Mono and Elfin 2 Mono series, okay? But there is no information about other um, uh, resin printers, so you need to figure it out or try to start from the recommended settings that they share uh, for, from their printers, but it's okay. Uh, I think they, they could have a better website and more information about the, the resin on their website and to help the, the users, okay? In my case, I found information about the exposure time on the AliExpress uh, advertisement about this, this resin. If you go to the, to the AliExpress store, Nova 3D AliExpress uh, store, you can find this resin in there. There is an image that says uh, exposure time for mono printers, monochrome screens, six seconds. Okay, and that's another thing that I will talk uh, later. Uh, it's the high exposure time of this resin. But yeah, uh, second thing is about the the main uh, capability of this this resin, right? the main feature that is basically the, the transparency uh, feature and clear feature, clear transparency, transparency feature. And I have to say, it, it really <laughs> works. It, it, it's amazing. It's, it's really great how clear this, this resin is. This model here is a water element, elemental from um, Loot Studios. And I think it was nice to print a water elemental to show uh, 
clear, right? And as you can see here, and I will show uh, high has pictures of it. It's it's really nice. And this print here has mm, two months maybe or more, and it was and it was exposed to uh, artificial light, not sunlight direct, but uh, light in general, and did not get yellowed at all. It, as you can see, it's still clear, transparent. I did not do any special tra treatment on this one. I did not do any polishment, polishing or um, or any other special treatment for that. It was basically uh, removed from the printer, cleaned with IPA, and, and that's it. it. And it's great. And I have here an example of another clear resin that I have, and this one was exposed for on for the same conditions that this one. I, I left it just on the same place, both of them, and this one is crazy yellow, as you can see, really really crazy yellow. While this one, it's it's nice, it's it's still clear, it's still nice. So yeah, it it really works. The, the the main feature of the of the resin is there it it's really how they advertise it's a clear clear resin same with this this guy here i think it's the same guy that shows on the on the bottle here but again no treatment i know there are a lot of people that deal with this type of resin all the time and know how to do the proper treatment to make it clear clear or transparent and there are some instructions on, on, on the, if you use this QR code here, the, you can check some instructions on how to treat or to deal with uh, transparent, the high transparent resin. And basically it's like you put a coat of fresh resin over the model, you lose a little bit of details of course, but the, the model stays clear. Um, longer than uh, if you just do not do this, this treatment. I also tried to print some dyes that I know a lot of people look for clear resins for dyes, right? And again, no yellowing, it's, it's really nice. But here is the drawback. One of, I have some drawbacks about this, this resin, okay? Unfortunately, because it's really the main feature, which is clear resin, it works great. But uh, there are two drawbacks that I think uh, it's it's bad for, for the resin. What, the first one is the, the supports. Uh, I couldn't print anything with supports that came out uh, perfectly fine. For some reason, the base of the, of the model that prints with the... You, you have uh, supports, right? Uh, supporting the model here. And in the base, it always fuses the, the supports that fuses with the model. And it basically destroys the model, right? It's, it's difficult for you to, to save uh, the model here. In the case of this one here, for example, the, the arm is separated from the body and the arm has supports basically on the connections of the of the arm and i i did some sanding and trying to to fit the arm here but it not fitted perfectly as you can see there is a big gap here uh, on the arm because of the of the supports that just fuse it if you check this guy here for example the arm just fits perfectly and I had no problem at all whatsoever with this this one, but it got yellowed. <laughs> but but the the model is perfect. I had no problem with it. Uh, I tried to print dice and it was a disaster. As you can see, all the the supports on the base just fused terrible on the, with the with the dice. They, I contacted Nova about this problem and they told me, ah, you need to, I will, I will show here the, the answer. 
and I tried to do that. Uh, I put like a very, very high support, like this support series, like 10 millimeters or something like that. And it's still bad. <laughs> the, the, the dice is just deformed and it's useless, basically. And I printed with the other resin and the dice came out perfectly. I'm not saying that this dice is it's good. I'm not a, a dice a dice master or anything like that. But at least it came it came good, great. It's not it 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 came out from the supports. It's it's working fine. And I printed this guy on the Bene4 Mono 2, okay? This dice with the other the other resin that I use, the other transparent resin that I have. Uh, yeah, this is this is bad because uh, again, Nova need to have that information on their website, on the product page. We need to have proper instructions on the type of supports that I need to use, or how to arrange the the model, or any specific configuration or settings that we need to put on the slicer for the resin to work right. Uh, that way is not not good. Basically, we have like a great resin that we cannot use with support, supported models. Same thing with this smaller version of the, of the Elemental. The base is just use, useless. Uh, it's fused, it's fused, it's really fused. Uh, if you want to save this model, you need like to, to sand a lot the base for it to fit the 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 base of the of the model and here again I think this one was printed like this uh, or something like that and as you can see here the supports on the base just fused with the model and we could just use this basic uh, it's really a pity I think uh, they should have better information but if you can if you want to print a supportless model Great! It works perfectly. No problem whatsoever. Besides the the base that basically is because of the over exposition of the bottom layers, right? It's it gets really fat on the base here. But beside that, nice model, printed perfect. This guy is the same that from the from the bottle here. The the one that comes here on the on the stamp, but yeah. Uh, another drawback is the exposure time. As I said, six seconds for a mono screen printer. Come on, uh, this is really weird for me. Uh, this other resin here, I printed on my photo mono using using my photo mono uh, to print this this guy. I don't know if it was my photo mono, but yeah, I think it was my photo mono. This guy. And this resin takes like 1.2, 1.3 seconds of exposure time, normal exposure time. And it came out perfect. It's, besides the fact that it gets yellow, it's, it's fine. It's, it's it printed fine. But this guy on the Bene4 Mono, six seconds, six seconds of uh, normal exposure. On the Anycubic Photo Mono that has a, a stronger light, 4.55 seconds of exposure, no, normal exposure time. So, yeah, I don't know why that, why it takes so so long for this resin to cure, but but it's it's a lot for a, for a mono printer. I have no idea if this resin even works on an RGB uh, uh, screen and if it works it probably take a lot of time for it to cure, right? I imagine that. But uh, besides that, that these two drawbacks of the, of the resin, the, expo the high exposure time and the support configuration which I couldn't realize how to handle with it basically hope nova can can give some light on that besides those two things the resin it's really transparent okay the the main feature of the resin is there again if you deal 
If you learn how to deal with the supports, you have a very, very nice resin to work with if you need uh, transparent and clear um, models uh, printed, okay? So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you can uh, find it useful. See you next time. Bye.